Okay, did you catch the Cole Sprouse interview on the Call Her Daddy podcast? As some of the things he said were pretty appalling. Hi, I'm Stacey Taylor, and today I'm counting down the top 10 celebrities who try to warn us about Cole Sprouse. So what do you think about Cole Sprouse? And let us know in the comments below. Starting off our list today at number 10, we have Dylan Sprouse. It's no secret that Dylan and Cole Sprouse have been acting together for years, as they have been since they were eight months old. And while they have started movies and two beloved Disney Channel series together, there's a high chance that the two will never act alongside each other again. And for Dylan, he has one memory with his brother that would prove this statement, as they pretty much haven't forgotten about the cringiest audition experience they had together for the movie Cat in the Hat. When Dylan would tell young Hollywood when Cat in the Hat was auditioning, of course, they would call every single person who looks alike to be thing one and thing two. So we went in and went in full force. And I remember we walked into a room and they said go crazy and so my brother and I probably being eight or nine years old just started fist fighting it was bad and obviously they cut it off and were like you can't do that but that's what we knew as for crazy so that was cringy number nine Lily Reinhart back in August of 2020 Lily Reinhart really started to open up about her breakup with Cole Sprouse and the emotional months that came with it in an interview of refinery 29 the actor would say the last couple of months have probably been the most emotional few months of my entire life. My therapist told me, your body's going through withdrawal from love. You're used to having this exchange with happy chemicals between you and the person you're with. She then continued on to say, in the moments of my life, I have dropped every ounce of pride that I had and I had to be like, love me. Please take the pain away for a day, a second, an hour, just so I could feel that fix again. And now that Cole has gone on to humiliate the actress in the Call Her Daddy podcast, we're definitely going to see Lily address the comments and she might not be so kind. After all, she is the queen when it comes to clapping back. Hey my little peaches, are you liking this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Number 8, KJ Appa. KJ Appa and Cole Sprouse are notorious for their near constant teasing and trolling of one another on social media. And while the two may appear to be good friends, they never miss the opportunity to poke a little fun at each other or embarrass each other when the moment arises. 2018 was the year the two went full force into some of the cringiest moments, like the time KJ found a picture of the two both at the age of 17 and he posted it to his Twitter account and in the comments he would tell Cole that he would obviously have crushed him, not only today but also at the age of 17. Cole then went on to poke a little fun back by bringing up how big his check was by saying you wouldn't have even survived the weight of my wallet so it's clear that Cole was referencing that he had a lot of money and a lot more than AJ because of his Disney paychecks and his net worth he built from the years of being a child actor on TV and in a movie such as Big Daddy and that he's not afraid to flaunt his massive wallet like his humble castmates. Number 7 Casey Cott. Casey Cott who is known for his role Kevin in the hit series Riverdale once tried to diss Cole Strauss only for Cole to clap back and diss the actor for the amount of lines he carried in the last couple of seasons on the show. Back in 2020 when Cole made an appearance on The Tonight Show, Casey would share his thoughts on Cole's new bearded look by saying, why does he keep itching his awful beard? during the interview. Cole then responded by saying, that hairy chin said more words in that interview than you did in the last four seasons. So it's clear that Cole thinks that being an actor with more lines means you're more relevant and Casey just with his short little tweet exposed this. But what Cole got wrong is you don't need to have a big part to be a fan favorite or to hold a huge impact in a scene as some of the biggest actors have had no words in certain scenes and their impact was huge. And a lot of people hit the comments to stay that at the end of the day, they still love Kevin more than they love Jughead. Number six, Alexandra Cooper. When Cole Sprouse sat down with Alexandra Cooper on her Call Her Daddy podcast, what he wouldn't know is that the podcast would expose his true personality and fans would not be happy. Right after the post was posted, Riverdale fans would throw Cole Sprouse into the heat after he humiliated Lily Reinhart. When sitting down with Alex to discuss his much publicized breakup, the former sweet life of Zach and Cody star 
Star revealed that almost every one of his girlfriends have cheated on him, but the bone that Twitter had to pick with Cole was the truth on how their relationship ended. Lily and Cole, who dated for two years, split back in 2020. While initially it was stated their breakup was mutual, he switched up his story by saying, it was me, I left, it was time. It absolutely lasted longer because we worked together. There was a lot of pressure and you think if I had loved myself more, I would have left earlier. The footage posted would also show Cole had little no respect to the host while he was constantly smoking inside throughout the interview and we would have never known his true colors if she never posted this podcast. Number 5. Melanie Wright Sprouts When speaking to Stephen Barlett's diary of a CEO, he would accuse his estranged mother of being a wicked narcissist, as he previously claimed that she forced him into the acting industry with his brother to help her satisfy her own needs for validation. But the actor now claims his mother is the one that pushed him and his brother into the industry with a view of profiting off of their talent after divorcing his wonderful father. In an interview, he would say, my mother was and is the t artist type she struggled with in many different ways her place in the world. I think she found a tremendous sense of self-identity through motherhood and tried to turn it into a profitable business at the same time, which for identical twin boys is going into acting as an economic loophole. But an inside source has revealed that as a single mother, Melanie has explained that she did everything she could to give her sons the best possible life they could have the only way she knew she could, and that she never wished her sons to feel the way they are feeling, and she just wanted them to feel loved. Number 4. Jimmy Fallon When Cole Sprouse appeared on a Zoom version of The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon, his set Zoom background picture of Jimmy alone in his own audience, and then they made a joke about how Cole was looking a little more like a waxwork. To the point, Jimmy even had to ask, have you been to any waxwork museums recently? To which Cole would respond by making an uncalled remark about his acting on the show Riverdale by saying, besides the set of Riverdale, no. It was pretty obvious that in that moment, he was talking about the acting altogether on Riverdale, which is honestly pretty ballsy considering the show pretty much got him back into acting. And he still has to act with the people on the the show, so making fun of their acting just proves that the actor is actually pretty self-absorbed. Number 3. Madeline Pelt When Cole and Lily Reinhardt split, Madeline would clap back at the two's breakup by saying it was so cool but it seemed to be a little too sarcastic. While people were talking about how it was clear that both Cole and Lily were clearly in a bad place before their breakup, Madeline out of nowhere would open up about the breakup when speaking to Access by saying, I love them. I don't even know how they come up with this stuff. Madeline would then go on to note that she never really thought their relationship would last in the long run and that their personalities did seem to clash often when they were together. She would then reveal to people that things felt super heavy in the relationship for a while and it even got too much for the both of them. And this is why they allegedly broke up. It would then be revealed that the pair's breakup was actually really messy as they were on the same show together and they needed to handle things very carefully going forward. Number 2. Reina Silva It seems like just after Cole Sprouse split from Lily, he would find himself linked to a handful of different women, and one of them was named Reina Silva, who he was linked back with in October 2020. So Reina is a Canadian model from Vancouver, and the two seem to have become extremely close, but it would later be revealed that Cole never really saw relationship potential in her, and he only really saw her as a rebound. And throughout the relationship, Reina would make comments about how she was constantly getting compared to past girls in Cole relationship, not only by fans, but by Cole as well. Following months of speculation, Cole would finally release his statement that he and Reyna had split, and many would start to speculate that it was because he was on a trip visiting Reyna in Vancouver when he met Ari Fournier. Then in February 2021, Cole would be pictured with Ari and they would be spotted cozying up together in Vancouver. The actor then made his relationship with the model official five months later of July that year, and recently the star gushed about his girlfriend on the Call Her Daddy podcast by saying the current relationship I am in has woken me up to what real compatibility and trust look like in a way that I've never had before. And coming in at number one today, we have Allison Stoner. Back in 2016, Allison Stoner would reveal that her and Cole's relationship ended in a pretty dramatic way when she explained that she used to date Cole, but their relationship ended abruptly and unexpectedly. While the two were actually only 11 at the time, Allison was kind of disappointed in how the actor chose to do it and just wished he would 
could have been a little more mature and picked a better time to do things. As it turns out, that Cole broke up by texting Allison saying that things just weren't working out. But to make things even worse, the breakup occurred on her birthday. Now, they were able to remain friends after the fact, but Allison always had to hold back her heartbreak as this was a pretty rough thing to go through as a preteen. Things definitely did end up on a sour note between the two, and Allison also revealed that Cody was the first boy she ever had a crush on, so she was hoping it would have worked out better between the two. Well, that's it for this video, my little peaches, and until the next one, remember to stay juicy.